Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of July 21st. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments, thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, your first card out is the Queen of Pentacles, so an Earth sign. So you're nurturing yourself. You're taking practical matters this week in your own finances. You're understanding what it is that you want in the future for finance-wise. So you're looking into making some investments. For some of you, it looks like you're um, working really hard on a plan. That you want going forward you know this could be purchasing something for yourself and you're looking into getting the best price for your for your money you know and you're asking yourself the ultimate question do I need it or do I want it before you move forward on anything because you don't want to set yourself back you have a good idea of what you want to start getting going on and taking action moving forward and there you are showing up lovely king of wands yeah you're a natural born leader it's a, incredible you know you can see the bigger picture you take the leadership role and what's happening about you and if there's been any challenges going on for yourself this week you're facing it you know that it's time to get dealt with and that's what you're doing. You're motivated to making changes in your life all the way around. You know, you're making a plan. You're sticking to it. You want to take some trips here for some of you off the beaten path just to enjoy yourself a little bit and be able to enjoy your life instead of just always, you know, head down and moving along. You're starting to understand that it's time that you need to nurture and help yourself so that you can keep up with all this. Ooh, look at that. You have some. You always <laughs> have so many opportunities. Like you daydream so much about all the potentials and stuff, but you're realizing that with all the dreams out there and the potentials of, unless you take action on one of them, that's all they'll ever be you know just daydreams and you're realizing that that's not what you want to do anymore you're taking action this week on something that you wanted to do for quite a while Ooh, and the world look at that oh that is awesome you know this is you understanding what your fulfillment dreams are you want to travel you want to celebrate life and you've finally come to a crossroads where you're starting to accept that you know, you can breathe again. You can have a good time, you know, and, and some of you, you want to travel abroad, like you want to go see some different places and you're actually not only just thinking about it, you're taking action on it, you know, you know, putting away that money for the rainy day, you know, you're actually investing in yourself and your health. And the Ten of Rods, you can finally put some of those burdens down. And they probably weren't yours for the majority of them. But you've put in so much hard work and, you know, always picked up and did the right thing. But you're tired now. It's worn you down and worn you out. And you want things in your life to be a little bit more with <laughs> breathing room. Instead of you always just doing the right thing. And the Nine of Rods, yeah, you have definitely been, you know, put through the mill. Tested, absolutely tested, you know, and it's take courage and determination for you to put up clear boundaries for many. You know, you didn't want to hurt anybody or anything else, but you're tired. You're just tired now. You're standing your ground and you will not backtread on this. You're geared up. You know, if there's something going to come at you, let's get on with it so that I can continue on sort of thing. And you're okay with the way things are turning out. And the seven of rods. Look at you. There's a lot of rods. A lot, a lot of fast moving, taking action here. 
You know, there's been some challenges. You've faced them. You stood your ground. You know, you've main control, stayed in control of all that's been happening to you. And you've had to defend yourself many, many times, but you're okay with it now. You're, you're understanding that this is what has to be done. This is what you're going to do. And you're okay with the choices you're making. And the Eight of Swords, yeah, no longer allowing yourself to feel like, you know, it's an impossibilities in your life that you can't, you know, get past these hurdles. You're understanding you're no longer the victim. You know, you're cutting yourself loose. You're understanding you're moving yourself forward and no longer allowing yourself that luxury of, you know, excuses of why you're not doing something. No, no. Now you're taking action, moving forward. And the Three of Swords, yeah. It's been a heartbreak, boy. You suffered. And, you know, it's left you emotionally scarred in many cases, but you're okay with it now, believe it or not, because it showed you what you will no longer allow to happen to you. So you're healing yourself here. You're taking the swords out, and you're starting over with a whole new perspective of all kinds of potential for new love to come into your life and open up again. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, look at that. You're full of energy, moving forward. Some of you, so you're taking um, trips, you know, not far. This could be in your vehicle, your motorcycle, train rides, whatever it happens to be. You know, and some of you are thinking about doing some silly things. You know, don't do that. Step back, curb that impulse, because you don't want to do anything you want to regret. Give yourself those three minutes, really think it through very clearly before you do anything. Because you know what could happen. You're not silly. And the temptress, yeah, there's balance, harmony. You are finally feeling the urge to allow yourself to breathe again. You know, people are going to be who they're going to be. You can't change people's minds, nor do you want to. You just want clarity for yourself, and that's where you're going with this. You found your bottom line. You've drawn the line, you know, the sand line there, and you're okay with it because you know that it's your time. You're not compromising on anything. You're not giving up anything or surrendering. It's what you want to do now, and... Boy, do you want to do a lot of things for yourself to heal yourself and will and will succeed at it as well because it's your time. I'm just going to open these curtains a little bit so it's not quite so dark on the screen. Sorry about that. And the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be some inheritance coming in here for you. So there's definitely money, finances, and security, which is really nice to see. You know, and... Boy, are you making sure that this is going to last you for the long term. You know, you're going to squander it away for the good. You know, you're going to make it investments. You're going to make sure that it's money that not only sets you up, but will set up, you know, if you have children or the next generation, whatever it is, you're going to make sure that it pays going forward and you will teach others how to do it. So you're showing them how to make their life a little more tangible and moving forward. But you are definitely on a roll here of setting yourself free. Ooh, and the Ace of Swords. So most definitely new beginnings. Boy, a lot of new beginnings for you. If you are feeling stuck and frustrated, you don't feel that anymore. You actually feel finally empowered and inspired to do things. And you haven't taken that leap in a long time, but you're clearing the air, you know. You're understanding that these decisions that you're making are your decisions. You owe no explanation to anybody for it, nor will you do it. But you're getting yourself out of any kind of problems that have been, you know, weighing heavy on you for quite some time. You're getting enough sleep finally. You're taking care of yourself and your health because, you know, at the bottom line, if you need to do that for you because the only one who can take care of you is you and that's what you're doing you're making sure everything in your life runs much more smoothly 
All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card. But your cards are all so positive and opening up and starting fresh and new and stepping out. You're finished with something. And now you get to breathe again. All right. <laughs> when you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or a pedicure. So take care of your health. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye for now.